all of their rooms are full of antiques. And I'm not sure if I'll go through it in this video or not, but our past stays here have generated a lot of the ideas for our homes, our online web store, and all kinds of things. They've also been featured in our past magazine. Lovely location. And if you watch the Hallmark Channel, they actually, and when I say they, I mean the owners, were part of a Godwink story. And I, right now, I'm not remembering the name of it, but I will absolutely share that below. I was telling them when they were just showing us the room, I almost bought a paisley bedspread yesterday, kicking myself. Might go back for it. I think that would look beautiful with our four-poster bed. And I used to have very dark paisley bedding in the early 90s. So I might do that. But we have this beautiful upper level, hello, upper level of the carriage house. And wait till you see the gardens that we have here right across the street. I mean, literally right across the street is a wonderful little bakery and gift store. And I've gotten my coffee there in the past. And I'm looking forward to visiting it again. But my shoulders are just starting to drop and I am ready to relax for the next three days and two nights. And I'm so glad you're joining me for this little trip. I'm going to be videotaping here and there as we go and sharing this lovely destination on Martha's Vineyard. And I do prefer coming to Edgartown for one of the villages here on Martha's Vineyard, but we're gonna show you a few of the others as well. You can see Ben is coming up with some of our luggage. We got parking right up front, but there's parking all over for this area. Look at this simple decorating idea. A beautiful white container full of pine cones. How simple and elegant is that? Must be here. And check out this sweet bathroom. Let's see where the lights are. Yeah, they are. So one of my first stays here at the Charlotte Inn is what prompted me to buy, here they are, I haven't opened this yet, these Q-tips with bamboo. So I have not even loaded these on the store yet. We're gonna make a little spa box and those will be in them, but I've had them for a year. Just waiting for the right opportunity. That's the walk-in closet for you? Oh my goodness. Ben just pointed out a walk-in closet. Look at this by the fireplace. This is great. So see in this dark burgundy? Oh, it's a wallpaper. It's not just paint. It looks like a tie. Hmm. I kind of envision our guest bedroom being the dark burgundy that we used for your office. Ben already lost his shoes. We're going to go for a, a nice walk. So he's putting on sneakers. I have mine on now. Yikes, a little little step out here on our balcony. Mm. So yeah, we're gonna go take a walk, get reacquainted, find a place for dinner. They do have dinners here at the inn, but we're going to find a place that's a little more casual for tonight. I mean, look at the details here, hat rack. Love this. And this is also the reason I started collecting hat boxes. Our visit to the Charlotte Inn, there are hat boxes everywhere, same as riding boots. Oh, you're gonna see some more changes at Sugarwood, I can assure you. This inn is part of the Raleigh Chateau family, and 
Once you see more, you're going to understand why. I just noticed this very tiny television tucked here in a little cubby. Very cute. Fire's ready to start if we choose. But adding all these little details, that's what makes a house a home. Guys, this is truly magical. I'm not just saying that. We keep coming back and it's always the same. Ben's waiting for me to grab my coat. We're gonna take a walk to another restaurant. Let's check this out. I brought my pumpkin outside.
And I now put Mr. Pumpkin in our quarters. It'll be a nightlight. I'm getting up with the birds. I just got myself a cup of coffee from the owners of the inn. And I think I'll take a little walk and wait for Benjamin to arise. And we'll come back here for breakfast. So if you want to visit Martha's Vineyard when it's quiet, mid to late October. Now, a lot of the restaurants have already closed, but if you're okay with that, it's perfect. I'm gonna take you down towards the water and a house that is photographed quite often is also an old ancestor's home. All remodeled, of course. Okay, I'm gonna head down here. And I'm going to show you a home that once belonged. And I'm going to have to look it up. I think it was a sixth great cousin, but I'm going to have to look. But as you saw, I have many ancestors here on the island. Well, I'm going to return here in the daytime, but this is it. Isn't it beautiful? How's this for a sunrise? One thing I was mentioning to Ben is here on Martha's Vineyard, a lot of the driveways are brick on Nantucket you'll see a lot more clamshell than you do here. But um, both islands are absolutely beautiful in their own ways. Ben and I joke that you can take the girl out of Massachusetts, but at least for this girl, you can't take Massachusetts out of me. I just love being back here on the islands and my family was more so Cape and up the coast. Um, a few in Connecticut, not many, but this is where my peeps are from. Other than some of the other lines of my family that are not from New England.
the Manemsha Fish Market. Always go where the locals go. the ferry to go to Chappaquiddick. We're taking a walk down to a house that was a contender for being on the front cover of one of our issues. Let's see if it's decorated this year or not. That's a lovely sound. Ooh. <laughs> 